You're 25, and you think your brain is at its peak. You're 35, and you worry it's declining. You're 45, and you believe it's too late to learn anything new. All three of you are wrong. Picture this. You're in a meeting. Your boss is talking about AI, blockchain, some new technology. The two five-year-old next to you gets it immediately. But you? You think, I'm too old for this. Or you want to learn guitar, Spanish, coding. But that voice in your head says, if I didn't learn it young, my brain can't absorb it now. But what if I told you that a six-zero-year-old's brain, when trained properly, can still grow new brain cells as fast as a two-zero-year-old's? What if everything you believed about age and learning was based on outdated science? Let me show you what's really happening. Part 1. Three lies about age. Someone told you these lies. And you believed them. Lie number 1. Your brain stops developing at 25. This myth came from research done over 100 years ago when scientists couldn't see inside living brains. The truth? Your brain does not freeze at 25. Modern neuroscience proves this is completely false. Lie number two. Young people learn faster than adults. You see an eight-year-old play piano and think, if only I had started young. The truth? Kids learn fast because they spend 100% of their time on it. You have 30 minutes between meetings and dinner. When researchers control for practice time, Adults actually learn more efficiently because you have discipline and strategy. A child learns through repetition. You learn through comprehension. Lie number three. Memory loss is natural when you age. You forget your keys and think, I'm getting old. You forget a name and panic. This is the beginning of the end. Let's be clear. We're talking about everyday forgetfulness, not Alzheimer's or dementia. For everyday forgetfulness, your memory works like a muscle. If you don't use it, it weakens. Not because of age, but because of lack of practice. A 7-0-year-old who exercises won't match a 2-0-year-old athlete. But they'll be significantly stronger than a 7-0-year-old who doesn't exercise. They'll be stronger than their own yesterday. Your memory works the same way. Use it or lose it. So what's really happening in your brain? Part 2. Neuroplasticity. Your brain is software, not hardware. Your brain isn't hardware that degrades. It's software that rewrites its own code every day. At any age. Scientists call this neuroplasticity. Your brain changes in three ways. First. Creating new brain cells. Neurogenesis. Your brain creates 700 new neurons every day in your hippocampus. Whether you're 20 or 70. Researchers studied people in their 60 seconds and 70 seconds who exercised regularly. Brain scans showed they were creating new neurons at the same rate as people in their 30 seconds. Second. Connections change. Synaptic plasticity. Every neuron connects to 10,000 other neurons. When you practice a skill, connections strengthen. When you don't use a skill, connections weaken and disappear. This is why you forgot your high school Spanish. Not because you're old. Because you stopped using it. Third, your brain reorganizes itself. Cortical remapping. London taxi drivers must memorize 25,000 streets to get their license. After four years of study, brain scans showed their hippocampus grew 15% larger. They weren't born with special brains. Their brains changed because of what they learned. Harvard studied people aged 50 to 60 who meditated for eight weeks. The result? Their gray matter increased. Their brains looked 10 years younger. Eight weeks change their brain structure. But why do so many people fail when they try to learn something new? Part 3. Three Fatal Mistakes Mistake number 1. You choose things that are too easy. 
You learn English by watching Netflix with subtitles. You practice memory by reading news. Your brain only rewires when it struggles. If it's easy, your brain uses existing pathways. No struggle, no adaptation. The rule, if it's not hard, your brain doesn't change. Mistake number two, you're not consistent. Monday, you study two hours. Tuesday, you're tired. Wednesday, you're busy. Two weeks later, nothing. Neuroplasticity requires repetition. Researchers compared two groups. Group A, 15 minutes daily for six months. Group B, two hours weekly for six months. Group B spent more total time. But Group A learned significantly better. Consistency beats intensity. Mistake number three. You sacrifice sleep. Your brain doesn't change while you're learning. It changes while you're sleeping. Sleep is when connections get cemented. Six hours versus eight hours means you lose 40% of your consolidation ability. Sleep is non-negotiable. So what's the right way? Part four, the action plan. Two learning rules and three brain fuels. The two learning rules. Rule one, choose one genuinely new skill. Not improve my English, but learn 10 marketing vocabulary words daily. Not get better at work, but learn Excel pivot tables from scratch. Learn something completely new. A musical instrument, a language, a sport, coding. Rule two, 20 minutes daily. Never miss twice. Miss one day. Fine. Life happens. Miss two days? You're breaking the pattern. Your brain forgets this is important. 20 minutes minimum every day. The three brain fuels. Fuel one. Sleep seven to eight hours. This is when your brain cements what you learned. Without proper sleep, neuroplasticity cannot happen. Fuel 2. Move your body 20 minutes daily. Exercise releases BDNF, fertilizer for your brain. Walk, dance, yoga. Just move. Fuel 3. Expose yourself to novelty daily. Different route to work. New food. New people. Novelty keeps your brain in learning mode. Real examples. A four or five year old learned piano for six months, now plays Chopin. A six zero year old learned Python, built an app for their company. A seven two year old learned Spanish, now travels South America alone. These aren't special people. They just understood. The brain doesn't care about age. It cares about what you do with it. 25 years old, learning nothing new equals a five zero year old brain. 50 years old, learning 20 minutes daily equals a three zero year old brain. Your brain is rewiring right now. The question is, what are you teaching it? To scroll? To worry? Or to grow? Age is just a number. Neuroplasticity is a choice you make every day. Pick one skill you've always wanted to learn but thought you were too old for. Guitar. Spanish. Drawing. Programming. Start today. 20 minutes. Your brain will begin rewiring whether you're 25 or 75. The only question left is, what will you teach it?